go down to Rome's Minnesota Fighting Vikings running game has been very poopy to start the season. First two games, uh, a lot of it is offensive line injuries and play up front. Uh, Kevin O'Connell play calling, ineffectiveness of Madison and Ty Chandler, as well as game script. But the Vikings uh, are dead last in the National Football League in uh, running back rushing yards with 62. They're, they've only had 23 uh, running back rushing attempts. Uh, Madison is averaging 3.3 yards per carry uh, on 19 carries. Uh, and also, the most depressing thing, the Vikings have one rushing first down from uh, a running back, which is just it stinks. It stinks, man. And the Vikings, even though it's a passing league, they got to get the running game going to have a little bit of balance on offense. And that's why the Minnesota Fighting Vikings uh, did a little 2026 uh, day three uh, draft pick swappy swap. And only conditionally if uh, Akers goes over 500 yards rushing. But uh, they did pick up the former second round pick Cam Akers, the pride of Florida State, uh, Super Bowl championing, uh, all that stuff. And yeah, experience with O'Connell, experience with Phillips, which is all good. Uh, but now the debate rages. Like, who is going to be RB1 with the Vikings? Is it going to be Alexander Madison, uh, the pride of Boise State, who they inked up to a two-year deal and held on to as they released uh, former star running back Dalvin Cook? Or is it going to be the new new kid in town? All that stuff. Uh, Kevin O'Connell talked to local media jackals on Friday. Uh, it's pretty emphatic. You know, clear things up quite a bit. Uh, and uh, Dayton Mizutani, uh, the Pioneer Press, go. Kevin O'Connell said Alexander Madison remains the lead back for the Vikings, even with the addition of Cam Akers. I see both guys having a role. So he, he said what he had to say r right now. I mean, Madison... I mean, Madison's been a tough first two games, right? Hasn't been able to get anything going. Uh, he has 2.2 yards per carry before contact, which is not a lot. And it's understandable. Uh, it's understandable the frustration, and especially after you sign that two-year deal, you're going to be the man, and then, you tra uh, then the Vikings pull off this trade. My argument for him to him would be, I mean, even if Madison had run for 300 yards over the first two games, I think they still make the Acres trade because uh, I think it's way too much value. Uh, Quasey loves uh, former high draft picks that they can get for nothing. The whole mama, I can change him dynamic. Uh, and, you know, like I said, Madison was still running the ball good. I, I think that they still make this Acres trade. Uh, but you, you notice that Kevin O'Connell stood by his guy Deuce right away, but also did hedge a little bit. Uh, I see both guys having a role. I, I think eventually this does settle into a straight up uh, running back by committee uh, with Madison and Chandler. Uh, excuse me, Madison and Akers. Maybe a little bit of Chandler sprinkled in there. Maybe a little bit of King Kenne uh, once he gets uh, back uh, to full fitness. But we'll see. And uh, speaking of Cam Akers on this Sunday, Al Clusey Athletic go. Uh, Vikings head coach Kevin O'Connell said running backs Cam Akers isn't likely to play this week, but he'll start to mix in soon. A quick acclamation to the offense, and Vikings will use him alongside Alexander Madison, whom Kevin O'Connell spoke highly of. So I'm not necessarily buying it. He could have just came out and said Cam Akers is not playing on Sunday. I think this is a little bit of gamesmanship. He he basically did the same thing with Dalton Reisner, and he basically did the same thing last year with T.J. Hawkinson. And, of course, uh, we know that Hawkinson played 60 of 66 snaps week nine against the commie. So uh, I think it is up in the air. Uh, I mean, Cam Akers, uh, he's probably going to be dressed on Sunday. And if you give him a couple carries and he starts putting up positive yardage, like, are, are you really just going to take him off the field? Ah, hi, highly doubt it. Also, uh, you know the fact. Yeah, he's going to be behind in terms of pass protection calls, uh, as well as uh, in the in the receiving part of the playbook. Sure, uh, but I mean, outside zone is outside zone. A uh, power is power. Dives are dives. So I think that Acres could and uh, potentially should uh, get some work on Sunday, even with Madison and Ty Chandler hanging out. And the Vikings, as of right. Meow. I still have Miles Gaskin on the 53-man rooster. Uh, they, they cleared up the 53-man roster spot by putting wide receiver uh, Jalen Speedy Naylor on injured reserve. Uh, TBD, who, who's going to be elevated uh, from the practice squad on uh, Sunday, probably one of the re one of the four receivers that are currently on the practice squad. But, yeah, I, I do think that the Vikings are – uh, they're all in to try and fix uh, this running game, and uh, Reisner is a big part of that. Health along the offensive line is a major part of that. Uh, and then adding uh, Cam Akers, uh, I think, could be a huge part of it because this is not, it's not good. Uh, th this is no bueno. And 
like if you're playing fantasy football, I'm staying away from everyone uh, until we, we get some definition. Uh, could it be a spot where it's like a 50 50 with crystal ball split and they're both unplayable in fantasy? Yes, uh, I think it certainly could be. But uh, the Vikings do need to get a little bit of balance. They do need to keep play action viable. They do need to protect Kirk Cousins with the run game. They do need to extend some drives and keep the defense's ass off the field. Uh, and adding Cam Akers, if he, can, can he do that? Potentially, uh, would it also motivate Alexander Madison and also uh, just get the best out of everyone involved? Yes, I think it certainly does. But uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, head coach Kevin O'Connell says that Alexander Madison is the lead back, but also hedges a little bit. Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.